What's up guys, it's Carlos Acuna with Carlos Acuna Health and Fitness. Back today, like I promised, with another video. Going back to some, what are we talking about today? The, the five components of fitness. So today's talk will be more about fitness. Real quick, I just want to make sure that you guys are staying on top of your daily tasks, making sure, like I said in my first video I did ever, cleaning your room, brushing your teeth, taking care of your vehicle, vehicles, or whatever you need to do in order to get your mindset on being successful each and every day. Moving on. Okay, so what are the five components of fitness? So the five components of fitness. When you bring them all together, it gives you overall great results for the body. Beginning with number one, cardiorespiratory fitness, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and body composition. So let's break each one of them down. Cardiorespiratory fitness is basically what the name says. It is exercise that uses oxygen. Number two. Muscular strength. Muscular strength is defined by what you can do within a one rep max. That is, uh, what's your one rep max on bench press, deadlift, um, squat, what you can do within a one rep max. That is muscular strength. Number three, muscular endurance. What muscular endurance is, is the repetitive submaximal force of the muscle tissue. So, if you want it in an equation, it's this. Frequency times duration equals the volume of exercise. So that is muscular endurance. It's not the same as a one rep max muscular strength definition. Muscular endurance is how much repetitive work you can do for a submaximal amount of time of work. So we get to number four, one of my favorites that I think a lot of us lack on, but we must focus on it guys, it's very important. Flexibility. I think a lot of us lack in this area because it's not that fun. But remember, just even by getting a few minutes of stretching prior or after a workout will benefit you and decrease the risk of injury, which I think we all would not mind. Basically just stretching, so stretch. Lastly, body composition. That is the fat mass that you have versus the fat free mass that you have as well. So you have you, you take away your fat mass and you're left with your fat free mass. That is body composition. So when you get one of those scales that tells you how much fat percentage you have, that is body composition. Next time you get one of those fancy scales that I can't afford right now, but I will. I just got myself a little uh, food scale. Let me show you. Uh, 20 bucks at tar Target. Target. And it's a really cool thing to utilize when your goal is to lose body mass. It's not that expensive, it's pretty cheap, it's about 20 bucks like I mentioned, and it'll help you along your way. But it just depends what your goals are again. Anyhow guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I'm trying to get all the basics in to help you along your journeys. Whatever it may be, to put on muscle, to lose weight, to cut, to um, gain muscle mass, whatever that may be. I wanna be that guy that helps you out that you come see. But again guys, one thing that I always wanna leave you with is to make sure you work on the compound effect. That is working on small things every day that add up, that make the best version of who you want to become. You know I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. The next episode, I'm not sure when that will be. Sometime this week. Um, again, no excuses. I know. I'm trying to crank as many episodes as I can per week. I'm coming down to finals though, so bear with me here. But yes, guys. 
you know, subscribe, like, share, help our channel out, help the outreach for a better fitness, health, everything that entails health and fitness. Let's help and inspire and motivate more people. Love you guys. Peace and love out.